Right, hello and welcome to another episode of The Overnighter. Oops, bear with me. Can't see me. Can't see me more. Ah, no, you can. So join me on the syndicate. Um, just got down. Just got rods out now. Fishing. Um, right arm rod is on a white krill and crab from Turner. And middle rod is on fruity special. It's bright yellow on the Turner. So, we'll see how we get on. There's um, been a couple of fish showing in a weed bed. I'm just off the side of the weed bed, probably about eight foot of water. Felt a bit of gravel on there, so that's where right hand rod is. And the left left hand rod is right at the back wall. So uh, yeah, at the minute, swim is an absolute bomb site, as you can see. Need to get bivy up because we've got some storm coming. So get it all sorted. Well, house is up. We're all set up now. Well, like I say, it's just another quick overnighter for me. Um, I'm planning on doing a, a proper full session, um, possibly three or four nights at the end of the month, and uh, possibly go down linear. See how we get on there. So, what's what? Right and rod, I was on a stiff hinge. Uh, fishing, like I say, on a little bar. Uh, left hand rod, that's on a Ronnie rig. Uh, fishing the back wall. Put a couple of spawns over each. And then I cracked off the left hand spot. But I didn't crack off. One of, I hit one of the branches that overhangs a spot slightly and it doubled over itself. Tried pulling it back and unfortunately didn't get it back. So you're in some, you lose some. Got a bit of bait out there. So we've got the uh, turn of baits, uh, krill and crab. Then we've got some um, super seed mix. Uh, we've got hemp, some amazing, uh, and I think some maples. So put a bit of. Um, Hemp oil on it, give up a slick. It's six bombs over each. I'm not trying to feed them, I'm trying to get a bite. That's all it is at this time of year. I think post spawning, that's when you can go hard with the bait. Uh, pre spawning, the yep, they're still not spawned, so I reckon they can't be far off. Um, you know, just a couple of baits, well, a couple of um, spawns over the top just to like say, entice a bite. So, stay tuned. a quick run through of what rig I'm using so probably got about five foot of Lico a little bead flat pair just need to straighten this out and we've got probably seven inches of thinking angles recoil down to a little runny rig a little uh, 40 mil special yellow um, so yeah, I'm just uh, resorting this rod out and then um, get it back out on the spot. And then uh, see how we get on from there. Just put a bit of foam on. One leg. I'll just bring the rig down. Tuck it. And really sandwich it in just so that up big can't move them. And that's it, ready to go out.
Right, well, we're coming into dark. Got told Alex, on cooking. Double Chesneys for the tonight's orders. Better than Macadies. Who needs Macadies when I've got my own personal chef cooking me some burgers? Eh? Love it, mate. Followed by a chunk to eat. Hopefully, a nice chunk. Keep getting some liners on um, right and rod. There we are, set up right and rods out towards that big tree. There's a weed bed, I don't know if you can just make it out on here. So, there's the weed. I'm just off it. Uh, it shelves down, so that's top of the shelf. It shelves down again. Uh, I'm on that shelf down, and it does shelf down again into deeper water somewhere around there. Um, so that's that. And then the left end rod tucked under that bush there in the back wall. Just being wraps. So yeah, fingers crossed one of these tonight. It's gonna start dancing. Right, well, evening is now approaching. We're at nine o'clock. A lot of fish starting to move around now. Uh, starting to chuck themselves out, shell themselves. And that wee bed I showed you earlier on, seen three bosh out. Um, and there I've seen a couple out to the left in front of Alex just cruising around and uh, starting to show as well. So it's all good signs. The fact that f uh, fish are now uh, moving, they've come out of the wee bed and out for looking for some food. Fingers crossed, uh, tonight one of uh, the four rods will uh, tear off and we'll have a chunk on the end. Well, 10 to 10 now, light levels are really starting to drop. Um, we've seen a couple of fish really start uh, boshing out um, of the uh, wee bit of my right hand shoulder uh, where my right hand rod is. Um, dark mirror just lobbed itself out directly in the middle. They're now uh, in front of Alex, but not anywhere near his fishing. Probably a mid 20, lobbed itself out. A couple of seconds later, big plumes of bubbles come churning to the top, so always good signs. So yeah, we're, uh, fingers crossed, we're both feeling very confident. Um, we are in the right area, I would say. There's been a lot more fish activity up this end compared to down the bottom. Uh, end of June, beginning of July, we're looking at doing a three, four night session down on Bluebell uh, as a social, so that'll be a good do. Tech camera down, get it all vlogged and hopefully uh, get some good footage. So if you don't catch me in the night, then I'll see you in the morning. Right, well, good morning. Nothing to um, show for the night. Uh, I had one Bosch literally just to my right hand side here. Probably about two foot from the bank. Twice it come flopping out. Uh, I had quite a lot of Bosch in last night. Don't know if they are looking at spawning. Um, they haven't spawned yet on here. We're getting very active within the margins on an evening and on night I heard them really boshing out in front of Alex to the left so it's now half past five, it's time for me to pack up, get to work it's a shame that I have to do this but it's one of the ways I can get fishing at the minute so can't win them all so yes, make sure you like, comment and subscribe stay tuned for more